So, here she is. This is going to be the donor for the 300SL. As you can see, it's a lovely shade of silver and rust. Typical Mercedes build quality. Uh, so what we're going to be doing with this is I'm going to be in the next week or so removing bonnet, bumper, headlights, wings, doors, uh, glass, tailgate or hood, whatever you want to call it, the boot, rear bumper and then cut the quarter panels off. So this will be basically a giant go-kart and then I will be putting the body of the 300SL, the Gull Wing, on top of it and we will make a skeleton for it that goes around it and we mount the body to. So let's have a, a proper look at it in uh, usual car dealer terms. Okay, let's have a quick look around her. First of all, we'll start with the proper stuff. I've got a, a good base car. Not crappy four cylinder, 1.8, whatever. We've gone for the 3.2 V6. I'll start it up. Absolutely sweet as a nut. Get that. Uh, what's my lead? My lead. I hear you ask. 89,000 and it's got full service history. Which is a bit shocking. As you can see in the corners, it comes with three cobwebs. As well as, like we said, typical uh, typical bits of rust. I love the uh, how the previous owners try to mask it off and uh, spray it over. So that's the engine. So three. Oh, some vibrating there. I'll have to sort that out. Milky headlights. We'll never get into thrown in the bin. And it is, as we can see, a lovely shade of. Uh, Horrible red and black with turned aluminium. Very period of the day, but not as much today. Bloody horrible. Uh, everything works in it, and weirdly, there is no lights on the dashboard. The only light that comes on every too, so often is the petrol light, which is typical of these things. And as we can see, it's not an auto, she's a manual. Or Manuel, if we're Spanish. Roof works. Look at that. All the mod cons. Bear with us, it takes its time. I thought you were going to hit yeah. then. Yeah. If you are over four foot, <laughs> then these, these are useless. Got it. There you go. That's it. And as you can see, Oh, again, some more quality uh, quality bodywork there. Most of the uh, body shops that I've used could look at that and take some tips, to be totally honest with you. So that's it. So this is going to be the donor vehicle for the uh, the Gullwing. So we're starting with some nice and uh, reliable 3.2 V6 Manuel. So uh, in the next couple, coming weeks, we're going to start stripping it. So... Uh, as they say in all YouTube things, please like and subscribe and uh, drop any comments. We'd love to hear your comments on this build. See what you think. This is the first time I've done a proper YouTube series, so uh, any help would be most appre appreciated.
no, 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 none of this fancy in and out camera malarkey with your video. We want to give the people what they want to see. Does she do a burnout? 